An interceptor aircraft is an aircraft designed to chase or intercept enemy aircraft entering a restricted airspace. Therefore, they are fast and have powerful radars and necessary armament for long-range BVR range combat. Dedicated interceptor designs became rare after 1960s because of the rapid improvements in air superiority and multi-role fighters. These dedicated interceptors have proved combat effectiveness in history, which is why we would like to present the top 8 dedicated interceptor fighters of all time. We will not include multi-role fighters or air superiority fighters like the F-22 Raptor and so on. So let's just dive right in. At number 8, we have the English Electric Lightning. This is a British fighter aircraft that served as an interceptor during the 1960s, the 1970s and into the late 1980s. It remains the only UK-designed and built fighter capable of Mach 2. A unique feature of the Lightning's design is the vertical staggered configuration of its two Rolls-Royce Avon turbojet engines within the fuselage. The Lightning has exceptional rate of climb, ceiling and speed. Pilots have described flying it as being saddled to a skyrocket. This performance and the initially limited fuel supply meant that its missions are dictated to a high degree by its limited range. It was famous for its ability to rapidly rotate from takeoff to climb almost vertically from the runway, though this did not yield the best time to altitude. At number 7, we have the Sukhoi Su-15 or the Flagon. This is the twin-jet supersonic interceptor aircraft developed by the Soviet Union. It entered service in 1965 and remained one of the frontline designs until the 1990s, and it was powered with a pair of Tumansky R-13F300 afterburning turbojet engines, which provides a maximum speed of 2,230 km per hour, a range of 1,380 km, and a rate of climb of 228 m per second, which is a very important parameter for an interceptor aircraft. Despite its powerful radar, the Su-15, like most Soviet interceptors before the late 1980s, was heavily dependent on ground control interception. It was fitted with the Lazar S data link system, which transmitted instructions to the pilot to accomplish the interception. Primary armament of the Su-15 was the R-8K-8 air-to-air missile. Up next at number 6 is the Shenyang J-8 or the Finback, which is a high-speed, high-altitude, Chinese-built single-seat interceptor fighter aircraft. The effort to develop an all-weather interceptor began in full in 1964, and this produced the first Chinese-designed and built jet fighter to combat new high-altitude threats such as the B-58 Hustler Bomber, F-105 Thunder Chief Fighter Bomber, and Lockheed U-2 Spy Plane. The J-8 resembled little more than a scaled-up twin-engine MiG-21 and had only a limited combat capability. It is equipped with PL-2IR, homing short-range air-to-air missile, and unguided bombs and rockets. With the development of lightweight nuclear weaponry, the J-8-2 is able to carry missiles with nuclear warheads. At number 5 is the McDonnell Douglas F-4 Phantom II. This is a tandem two-seat twin-engine, all-weather, long-range supersonic jet interceptor and fighter bomber originally developed for the United States Navy by McDonnell Aircraft. It first entered service in 1961 with the Navy, and the Phantom is a large fighter with a top speed of over Mach 2.2. It can carry more than 8,400 kilograms of weapons on nine external hardpoints, including air-to-air -air missiles, air-to-ground missiles, and various bombs. The F-4 was used extensively during the Vietnam War, which served as the principal air superiority fighter for the U.S. Air Force, the Navy, and Marine Corps and became important in the ground attack and aerial reconnaissance roles late in the war. The aircraft has most recently been in service against the Islamic State Group in the Middle East. At number 4, we have the Mikoyan Gurevich MiG-25, also known as the Foxbat. This is a supersonic interceptor and reconnaissance aircraft that was among the fastest military aircraft to enter service. It was designed by the Soviet Union's Mikoyan Gurevich Bureau and is one of the few combat aircraft built primarily using stainless steel. It has an operational top speed of Mach 2.83 and features a powerful radar and four air-to-air -air missiles. When first seen in reconnaissance photography, the large wing suggested an enormous and highly maneuverable fighter at a time when U.S. design theories were also evolving towards higher maneuverability due to combat performance in the Vietnam War. 
The appearance of the MiG-25 sparked serious concern in the West and prompted dramatic increases in performance for the McDonnell Douglas F-15 Eagle, then under development in the late 1960s. Up next, at number 3, we have the Panavia Tornado Air Defense variant, which was a long-range twin-engine interceptor version of the swing-wing Panavia Tornado. The aircraft's first flight was on 27 October 1979, and it entered service with the Royal Air Force in 1986. It was also previously operated by the Italian Air Force and the Royal Saudi Air Force. The Tornado ADV was originally designed to intercept Soviet bombers as they were traversing across the North Sea with the aim of preventing a successful air-launched nuclear attack against the United Kingdom. In this capacity, it was equipped with a powerful radar and beyond-visual-range missiles. During its service life, the Tornado ADV received several upgrade programs, which enhanced its aerial capabilities and enabled it to perform the suppression of enemy air defenses mission in addition to its interceptor duties. Number 2 on the list is the Grumman F-14 Tomcat. This is an American supersonic twin-engine, two-seat, twin-tail, variable-sweep wing fighter aircraft, and the Tomcat was designed as both an air superiority fighter and a long-range naval interceptor, which enabled it to both serve as escort attack aircraft when armed with Sparrow missiles and fleet air defense loitering interceptor role when armed with Phoenix missiles. The F-14 was the first of the American teen series fighters, which were designed incorporating air combat experience against MiG fighters during the Vietnam War. In the 1980s, F-14s were used as land-based interceptors by the Islamic Republic of Iran Air Force during the Iran-Iraq War, where they saw combat against Iraqi warplanes. Iranian F-14s reportedly shot down at least 160 Iraqi aircraft during the war, while only 12 to 16 Tomcats were lost, at least half of these losses were due to accidents. The F-14 served as the U.S. Navy's primary maritime air superiority fighter, fleet defense interceptor, and tactical aerial reconnaissance platform until the 2000s. At number one spot is none other than the Mikoyan MiG-31 or the Foxhound. This is a supersonic interceptor aircraft that was developed for use by the Soviet Air Forces. The aircraft was designed by the Mikoyan Design Bureau as a replacement for the earlier MiG-25 Foxbat, and the MiG-31 is among the fastest combat jets in the world. It was designed to intercept the cruise missiles, detect and destroy UAVs and helicopters, to escort long-range strategic bombers, and to provide strategic air defense in areas not covered by ground-based air defense systems. It continues to be operated by the Russian Air Force and Kazakhstan Air Force following the end of the Cold War and the collapse of the Soviet Union in 1991. The MiG-31 is able to maintain combat effectiveness despite the potential use of active and passive radar jammers and thermal decoys by adversaries. A group of four MiG-31 interceptors is able to control an area of airspace across a total length of 800 to 900 kilometers. It's its radar possessing a maximum detection range of 200 km in distance and the typical width of detection along the front of 225 km. And that's it from the buzz for today. We hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thank you guys for viewing and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.